Namaste, beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. And today's class is called Moving On. And this is the final class in this destination. Uh, it's been four years in front of this <laughs> uh, window. And I told Johnny, I, can't, I still can't say Sophie without crying. So here, he'll do it. So the this, this space was a little bit empty there. <laughs> and that's what's left in the physical of Sophie. Her microzymas <laughs> are here with us. It's been, um, it's been busy and we're moving out of state and it's uh, just a very laborious. So it's been a lot of work. Um, we're, we're tired, we're exhausted, we're excited. Um, we also are taking time to just Take Texas in. It's such a beautiful place here. It's such we have such beautiful memories. Um, as I said, I cannot speak about Sophie yet without crying. I'm just uh, emotional about her, but I have sweetness. It's all sweetness about her. But in a way, this house was her. A lot of everything here was, you know, about her. But at the same time, we we'll take a piece of her with us. She's a beach girl and we are going to uh, go towards the beach. Anyways, bittersweet. I think the next class will be goodbyes and hellos, uh, but we're here for this class. So back to the now, back to this moment. Um, last class in front of this window. You, in most classes you don't see the outside because of the uh, bright light, but there is the road. Up, up, up the street, so it's very symbolic. Anyways, as I said, it is bittersweet and that's gonna be the kind of the, the um, contemplation for this class, bittersweet. Because um, every time there is a closure, every time there is um, um, uh, something ending, that is a birthing cycle. And when the baby leaves the other uh, realm, uh, it's birthed into this. So it, the, the soul is gone from that other side, uh, but it, is, um, it crosses over on this. So every time something um, is gone from our, our life, that is a birthing process. It's a very, very important transformational thing to within ourselves process this and also process the goodbyes. I have had quite a few goodbyes in my life and uh, quite a few moves in my life. And we're talking big moves uh, that are life-changing moves, right? Your whole life changes, takes a new direction. And those are um, soul and character defining and they're perfect for character development, obviously, because there is so many lessons or so many things we face within ourselves within a move. Anyways, I'm not going to talk anymore. I just wanted to take you with me uh, through this process and, and share with you that particular stage uh, of uh, the yoga, Ali Kamenova yoga uh, classes and from here you know onward and upward and onward <laughs> all right anyways today's class we're going to start with a warm-up is there intervals for warming up and we progressively increase the in intervals in their level and it's going to be upper body, lower body, cardio, strength, balancing. Some of the, uh, if you check out the shorts that I've been posting on here or my Instagram reels, uh, I've shared some moves. So we'll do a lot of abs and core and it just, it's going to be one of those kind of interval yoga classes. I'll try to keep it short because we are still <laughs> overworked and packing and everything, you know, it's endless work. And so I'll try to keep it short, but I want to uh, offer you something that you can use to get your, to keep yourself in shape and uh, keep your energy um, lifted. And let's begin and let's flow with love, strength and ease. <laughs> All right, starting at the front, bring your hands over the heart and lengthen through the crown of the head and breathe in.
So feel your body become present in the moment. I've said this many times before, at least at, ten, at least 10 times before. You don't have to always be present, but use your yoga practice to be that type of um, consciousness or brainwave where you're present in your body and present in the moment. You can drift away in other brain states. You can visualize, uh, you can be empty minded, you can plan, you can, you know, there is a stage, a brainwave or um, consciousness stage for the different phases of the day. The yoga practice is the time when you really breathe in the moment, so to speak, you become present. Um, c conscious, you, you contemplate concepts in a very conscious way. That is the time to really tap into that side of yourself. You can be silly, you can joke around, you can be light, uh, whatever in the stages of the day, right? But here is that moment of breathing in the current moment and, 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 and the somatics of the moment, the experience, the somatic experience, the visceral, the visceral experience of the body, of the of the state. Lift your chin and really engage here. I find that especially, uh, you know, once we cross over a certain age, it's good to really become aware of uh, the neck so that we also direct energy here. That is the one area where everybody suffers after a certain age, I feel. And let's extend gratitude for the body to appreciate its beauty, the, to see the imperfections as the perfections. When I spoke about moving and uh, things that you know are ending, ending cycles, also uh, same, same analogy goes for the body. The things that are not perfect in it are the places where we learn uh, qualities, character qualities uh, such as gratitude, acceptance, surrender. Uh, breathing through etc so it's it's even the imperfection has its purpose you know the shadow is only there when where there is light mm, the darkness really uh, um, is there to um, to show off the light right so it's all needed everything is needed we can live in absolute perfection and expect that to be a positive experience right we have to experience the richness of living we can only have beginnings we have to end something in order to experience a beginning right so everything is there is this dance of bittersweet of light and shadow everything is that in life all right shift your weight onto the right leg and we're going to step back in the back lunge with the left leg and pull the belly in feel your pelvic floor feel the core uh, mulabanda two you can do pretend biceps curls three four five and you can do pretend flies one same side two three four five all right opposite side one two feel your core three four five flies those are just uh, isometric flexion it's pretty effective if you really flex the muscles too three, four, <laughs> five. Let's do cross back lunges. Right leg on the ground, left, lift, cross. And you can do um, side crunch here. One, two, that's warm up. Three, four, five, you can stretch it out six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, opposite side. Let's go. One, 
two, three, four, five. Stretch it out for the next five. One or six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And back to the front. Here we're gonna go for a little um, lymphatic drainage shaking. So just jump here and, and drop back onto your heels. Soft, use the pads of the feet and feel your tissues releasing. All right, let's pick up the pace a little bit with the warm up. Feet together, we're gonna jump in and out of the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just on the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. All right. Step at the front. It is funny, I just noticed that the, on this mat, I'll try to link it. I have a code for it, but it's a artist yogi that draws it. There is fire at the, at the top crown chakra. I was just thinking about fire because Johnny's instinct was to immediately cremate uh, Sophie. And after that, I read from Steiner how fire is absolutely the most purifying force. It rinses off, removes all the negativity. Uh, it's, and microzyma survive uh, during uh, any temperature. They're the eternal particles that live on. So it's interesting that we're actually, when, if, um, you know, if you look at life as incarnation, but you don't have to, but if you look as, okay, if it's not incarnation, if, if you don't believe in that, say ancestors either rebirth or ancestors. I don't want to um, have any views here that are mine, but just any way you look at life, the body that is started by that microzymian cycle, so it's a particle that is eternal and starts off life from you know the smallest cell, is the same body in a way. It's very interesting that we keep on living in the matter even. We think, okay, the soul is the same, but even matter can be the same, it's interesting. Anyways, that's a long concept. I can't, I can't put it in class because <laughs> it will pause for too long. Uh, but inhale, reach up and exhale, dive down. Inhale, look ahead and you can go to, to um, plank. Here we're gonna start with a stabilizing exercise, right leg, left arm, opposite. All right, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, mm, down dog. Take, um, take a push up alignment. Push up pose, and you're gonna do one leg out. Push up, left leg out, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, we're doing for an interval. Three lunge jumps, one, two, three, and we're gonna do a slow squat. And I'm on the left leg. I ended up on the left leg. I'm going to return the back leg here so I can do three more. One, two, three. Ending up on the right. Slow squat. Pause it. So all of these exercises are brain. If I skip a moment of focus, I'll mess up the order, which is okay. 
nothing will go wrong if you mess up the order, but it forces you to focus, which is great. Great for brain function. Pause. All right. Stay low. A few more of those. Step it back. One, two, three. And come out, arch, exhale, dive, shake the head, inhale, look ahead, plank, side plank on the left hand, take the right knee up and straighten, one, two, three, four, five, step it behind, Stretch it out. Bring the right hand behind and you're here in tabletop and we're gonna lift the left leg five times. One, two, three, four, five. That's the way to build stellar hamstrings. All right, plank. Opposite side plank, take the left leg, straighten one, two, three, four, five, step it behind, wow thing, Ooh, stretch it, within, with, <laughs> indulge yourself in the stretch, all right, hands behind your tabletop, right foot, one, two, feel the other one, the hamstring working, four, five, and plank. Here we're gonna go uh, for a push-up interval. One, and squat jump. I'm going slow. Opposite side, so you're gonna push up and kick. For me, it's the left leg to the side, and Squat jump. Alternating. You can do it from your knees. Last one. And squat jump. And let's do figure eight to bring a bit of my favorite fluidity. Figure eights with the hips, with the shoulders. And again, bring yourself in the moment being embodied in this moment. The more conscious we become, the more self-aware. Self-awareness leads up to self-realization at some point on the evolutionary journey, of course. So we embody, we become embodied. More of the soul is here in the conscious, in the conscious mind. A lot of work is needed for that, a lot of shadow work, integration, removing the unconscious parts of the self. It sounds fluffy. In very new age, I realized that I was aware of it before the new age I was even exposed to uh, books and stuff. It's, it's really the work, the work of sitting with oneself and diving in. All right, back to the front. Inhale, reach, exhale, dive, plank. Here we're gonna do a few with like movements, knee on the mat, one, two, three, four, five, and lay onto your back, four, a belly interval, 
take the right leg up, left leg expands, uh, extends, and you're gonna reach forward, lower back on the floor, belly in, mula banda. We're going to touch the toes on the right side, reach over the head, clap, touch, reach, clap, touch, reach, clap. The entire time you want that contact. I think we're at three reps. Let's continue. Five, six, seven, eight, Then press the hands together, reach over to one side. And we're going to lower the left leg and lift it. One, two, three, four, and five. Opposite side, let's go first to this exercise. One, I'm not out of order, that's on purpose. <laughs> two, three, four, five and lower the right leg down. Let's go, touch, reach overhead, clap. Touch up, overhead, clap. Three. So feeling it, so so feeling it. Let's do a little supine twist. Finish with a few more intervals. All right, this one. Some of you said you haven't done it. I've I've had this one in classes, but you know, not all the time, so let's do it. It's an up booty one. Again, lower back down, and we're going to take the left leg up, bring it in, and you can actually peel off the tailbone of the floor, like a lower, lower belly exercise. And then when you extend, you're gonna come up. Two, coming up on the right side, so that's bridge booty. It requires again brain. Four, five, six, seven. I'm traveling up the map, up my mat. Eight. Nine. and I forgot the eight. <laughs> All right, opposite side. I'm surprised that I'm even shooting this class because I wasn't thinking to shoot today, but I thought I'm gonna do a little workout, sneak some time for myself. Here, let me shoot it for, to take you with me on YouTube. We've been together for so long. And despite all the history with YouTube <laughs> I have, <laughs> uh, I, I still appreciate our connection and I'm coming back. I will come back with another 30 days really something is brewing up in me for the, the very close upcoming future. Anyways, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and five more. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Plank. Step onto your left leg, right leg in the air, and we're going to jump, uh, jump the left leg in, and kick the right leg out. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. A little break. We'll go into the last interval and move on with our day. Pike press, a pike um, jump. So we're gonna do a jump, a squat jump, and and mountain climbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump, jump, mountain climbers. I have a drink smoothie because I didn't think I should. Usually it's not good to eat before you're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. last 10 mountain climbers all right side stretch extend left leg right knee on the floor reach over change forward fold Double pigeon, flex, flex the feet, nice breath of release and stillness as well. Opposite side. And sit in stillness, appreciating the moment, gratitude for the moment and also allowing yourself for moments in the day to just be empty, be free of the things that you are, that you need to do, that you need to be. <laughs> so even though we're not a human doing, we don't have to always be in the constant motion of executing action. Uh, of course, that's part of the experience, but we have to take a moment away from what we have to do, who we have to be, how we have to be, all, all the things that are required and expected of us and we expect of ourselves and just drop it all and occupy this space for a moment without even being fully what you think you have to be. Just appreciating the, the sound of the moment. And remember to flow with love, strength and ease. Thank you for joining me if you have been with me for a long time. Thank you for being with me. I value our connection. 
mm, I value this space that we share it and I wanted to share this moment with you as a moving on theme, contemplation, the sweetness in life that if we take the time to really take in the bitterness, we also experience the sweetness. So to not rush through experiences and just seek the pleasure, but to be in what life has to offer in its richness, to experience it because through it we expand. Anyways, thank you and just stay here and feel the flow of the air, the experience of this when you you can even allow your persona to dissolve just temporarily for a second you can snap yourself after back in here but just be be <sighs> allowing yourself to let everything be out in the periphery you can access it it's not going to go away you can access it but to just be empty and free and light and not burdened with stuff but just pure lightness all right, namaste. Mm -hmm.